Hi, I'm David Meyer, Meyer Global Filters. Welcome to our website. I'm here to take a couple minutes to show you a little difference between coarse fiber and fine fiber. There's only two fibers in filters, fine fiber, coarse fiber. Now, why, why would you want the coarse fiber? Why would you want the fine fiber? Well, when you, when you take a filter and you test it through ASHRAE and you electrically charge it, which most filters are that are coarse fibers, it will turn into the fine fiber until the dirt hits it, and then it'll drop a MERV or two. So if you get a fine fiber from the beginning to the end, if it's a MERV-14, it'll stay a MERV-14. And let me give you a little demonstration of this today. Now, I can't show you the 2 to 4 microns, which goes right through a coarse fiber and will probably be most of your your diseases, your coals, your things like that. The ones you really want to stop, those 2 to 4 microns. So let me give you a little demonstration to show you the difference between fine and coarse fiber. As you can see, this cloth is perfectly clean. There's nothing on it. There's nothing in these filters. Perfectly clean. We're going to take this filter here, which is a fine fiber, and we're going to put a coarse fiber filter on top of it. This coarse fiber filter all padded on the back to keep it from seeping. A lot of people use this type of filter. Now what we're going to do is, because you can't see a micron until it's 40, about 40 microns, and because a human hair is about 150, 11 microns will go right through this box. So 2 to 4 I can't show you. So I'm going to use salt, which is around 200 microns. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in like, like dirt going into it the air filter. I'm going to pat it like the fan. When the fan comes on, I'm going to do it again, put a little more dirt in there, pat it like the fan when it comes on. And then I'm going to take this off of here, this coarse fiber, and I'm going to show you the cloth is still perfectly clean, but this is the difference. When I take the fiber and I flip it over, there's all your dirt. So even though I'm showing you on a higher micron, you're getting the idea of the coarse fiber and the fine fiber. Now let me give you one more demonstration. This is a coarse fiber filter. As you can see, it's so dirty, very dirty. But the back, just as dirty, because you're two to four seeping through and making the back dirty too. But what's going through, you just can't see. Now, if you take a fine fiber filter, as you can see, the fine fiber is dirty on the front, like every other filter. But this is your major difference of the fine fiber. Do you see how green it is on the back? So today, I just wanted to give you a little lesson here in coarse and fine fiber. If you want to know more, please contact me on our website. Thanks again.